Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Vashon Brown. With a shortage of tourism dollar coming into the island and remittances on the decline, there is a call for the resale of foreign exchange to be closely monitored. Now, the Bank of Jamaica has assured that there is no shortage of U.S. dollar in the market, but local producers complain that they can't seem to get as much as they need. Andrew Laidley has that report. The Bank of Jamaica has made an attempt to stay ahead of the COVID-19 pandemic by pumping more money into the financial system. In a video release in March, the central bank asked corporations with U.S. debt obligations to consider delaying those payments for as long as they can until the pandemic has passed. Local producers who conduct business overseas are complaining that whatever foreign exchange is in the market is not being distributed fairly. At this point in time, there is no way we're accusing any institution, any banks or anything of hoarding or anything. That's not the issue. We just believe that there has to be a mechanism in place to allow for the funds to reach the productive sector to keep the wheels of the economy turning. It's a collective effort right here to work together. It's about collaboration, not confrontation. In response, the Bank of Jamaica intervened in the market twice since the start of this month, injecting an additional 40 million US dollars. On both occasions, the bank placed a restriction on how the intervention funds are resold. The bank says resale recipients are limited to end users as defined by the Bank of Jamaica, end users being non-financial commercial client entities that are funding obligation for goods and services acquired. Mr. Pandoi says the central bank will have to find a way to ensure that those restrictions are enforced. So demand has not really changed and supply has declined. And this is leading to a situation that requires, you know, some very um, significant and thoughtful approach by the, the BOJ and the, and the financial institutions. We have been in conversations with the BOJ team. They are aware of the situation. In fact, I've intervened in the market twice last week and today. Mr. Pandui explained that the funds being pumped into the market comes from the island's hard-earned net international reserves, but he argues that tapping those funds will be in vain if the productive sector is not the beneficiary. Andrew Laidley, TVJ News. Currency trading ended today with the U.S. dollar selling for $140.56, the Canadian dollar $100.52, the pound is being sold for $175.41, while the euro closed at $155.77. The JC index lost 7,118 points today and the junior market index declined by 98 points. Among the winners were Portland JSX, Cargo Handlers, Sagicor Real Estate X Fund, Sterling Investments and Laska Distributors. On the losing side were Caribbean Producers Jamaica, MPC Caribbean Clean Energy, Stanley Motor, Salada Foods and Victoria Mutual Investments. And that's the Business Day. I'm Vashon Brown. Good evening.